Stories from Parliament. Magna Carta. England, February 1215, and all is not well. Across the country, from north to south, the voices of angry barons can be heard. The cause of their anger? One man. King John. Aye. Aye. He demands even higher taxes to pay for his futile wars Aye. Yes. in France. And Wait. if we do not pay up, he takes what he wants. Aye. We have to find a way to stop him raising Agreed. taxes whenever he chooses. Agreed. And taking our land. Or stealing our land. He yes. promised that all this would stop. Oh, he always promises. promises. Yes. His promises mean nothing. Oh. We must do something to make him keep his word. Oh, yes. We are the barren lords of England, yet he shows us no respect. He can arrest us and hold us prisoner without a fair hearing. Ah, yeah, our widowed sisters and mothers can be forced into a marriage Aye. just because the king the orders it. it. Our rights and freedoms should be protected by law. Oh, King John believes he is above the king rule of John. law. Then uh, we must have new rules, which even a king must obey. And it is not just the barons who believe it is time to act. The Archbishop of Canterbury himself intervenes. He may be above the laws of men, but no one is above the laws of God. Pray silence for Stephen Langton, the Archbishop of Canterbury. My lords, you have come here today from all corners of England. Tell me, what are your concerns? Robert Fitzwater, Lord of Dunmow Castle, speak first. My lords, when our king raises taxation yet again, he offends the people. When he seizes lands that do not belong to him, he offends the barons. And when he seizes the wealth of the church, he offends God. <laughs> Richard de Clare, Earl of Hartford, you wish to speak? My lord Fitzwalter is right, but what can we do? The king cannot be reasoned with. He's too powerful. Then we must find a way to limit his powers. But how will we do that? There are no rules which a king has to obey. We will make new rules. <laughs> he won't listen to us. He refuses to recognize our rights. We have no voice. Then we must declare our rights and find a voice. <laughs> we must send a clear message to the king. He must agree to limit his power. And if he does not agree, then together, we will raise a great army. We will take London and leave him no choice. But even when he knows that the barons are taking action, King John continues to raise taxes and seize lands which do not belong to him. Your Majesty, the rebels advance towards London. Really? Let them advance where they like. I have nothing to fear from Robert Fitzwalter and his rabble. They gather support, Your Majesty. The closer they get to London, the stronger they become. I told you, I have nothing to fear. The people of London will stand by their king. I'm not so sure, Your Majesty. Fitzwalter calls his troops the army of God. I believe the people of London are on his side. I don't care. I don't care whose side the people are on. I will not submit. No king of England will ever obey rules laid down by traitors. A messenger from London, Your Majesty. Approach, speak. Your Majesty, Fitzwalter is in London. And... The people cheer him. They cheer a rebel traitor who dares to stand against his king? Yes, Your Majesty. Perhaps, Your Majesty, it is time to talk to the rebels. Never! I am the King of England. I do not talk to traitors. But King John will talk. He has no choice. And on the 15th of June, 1215, at Runnymede near Windsor, the two sides meet. The barons present the king with a document. 63 rules have been written down on parchment. This will become one of the most important and famous documents in history. P. 
People will call it the Great Charter, Magna Carta. Force widows to marry against their will. Agreed. You will not raise taxes without the agreement of the barons. Agreed. No free man can be imprisoned without being charged. Agreed. Every man has the right to a fair trial. Agreed. And 25 barons will watch you carefully to make sure that you obey these rules. Agreed. King John places his royal seal on the document so that the whole world will know that he has agreed to obey these new rules. Of course, this document doesn't put an end to the quarrels between kings and barons. Some of the rules are quickly changed, and many are broken or ignored. But on the 15th of June, 1215, something important has happened. Magna Carta has shown for the first time that it is possible to lay down rules which even a king must obey. Some of those rules apply to this day. Thank you.